Welcome back, folks. Uh, this is the uh, third uh, video in the uh, Solomon 1942 scenario. Um, just to kind of recap, things have gone really well for the Allies. You can see here that I've only lost a battleship, but they've lost two first-class carriers and two light carriers and two battleships, so things have gone well. Uh, for the Allies in that regard and uh, I would say that now I've moved back into port here to be able to uh, resupply and then get back out there. Um, my fleet is moving uh, uh, well. I've now trying to get, uh, just to clear this out here, to Langi. So my sub is uh, providing a port blockade to reduce it so that this way uh, uh, I can turn around and capture that island also. Again, the goal is to eventually replace all my marine units with uh, army units here, um, as my marine units will be doing the majority of the invasions because they don't suffer uh, as many penalties. Um, this next invasion island, so I'm, I'm taking a look at uh, Sege Airfield here, and that seems to be a port of one, and this is also a port of one. There's an aircraft there. Um, from our previous turn I did see it launch so uh, we're gonna have to be careful there um, if you press the Z key on your keyboard uh, you should be able to see all the actual beach hexes but I don't seem to see them here interesting in this scenario okay so let's continue so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be trying to concentrate our attack on this island in this video here as we're moving up the island chain to get closer to Rabal um, it looks like uh, this frontier is stagnant so I'm not too worried about it at this point in time um, I could join these two and make a stronger unit here I'm in no rush at this point in time so we'll just keep things as is here. I've got my defensive line, as I mentioned before. Uh, you can see that this this battle group here it was decimated uh, uh, the previous turn, so there's not much left there. Um, so I can try to finish them off if I'd like uh, in this particular turn. Uh, what I'd like to be able to do is start getting ready for some invasions here. So. I have brought a marine unit to this particular location and the idea is I'm going to be using this marine unit to uh, land on the island here and capture that port immediately. That's the, the game plan. As long as I can capture the ports quickly, uh, that'd be much better. Um, so while we wait here, what I'd like to do is, I don't know if I want to finish this unit off here. No, I don't. I may not have a choice since I only have one operational point here. Okay, I'm going to move in here and nothing happens. Okay. And I've got my aircraft there on full support mode. I've got my sub there in radar mode. Uh, and there's not much I could do at this point in time while I refuel. I've done all my purchases, so it's just really a matter of finishing off this turn. Okay, so I'll finish off this turn. What I would like to do is uh, attack this area here, but I want to make sure that uh, it's protected. So I'm going to move this fleet here to refuel. I'm going to bring my carrier group up again. I don't have to put it in raider mode now. I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm overpowering the Japanese at this point in time. I'm going to place that here to cover this portion of the island as I'm moving on. Um, I'm still keeping the blockade there. 
and I'm wondering whether or not I can do some switches with the army here with some troops so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this one get ready for the next attack and I'm going to take this unit leave them there this unit I'm going to board he's going to be the army unit that's going to cover Henderson Field okay so what I'm going to do is since I can only have one unit at a time piled on top of each other I'm going to put that one on a ship right away and that allows me to uh, unload the Australian unit and I'm going to try to attack with uh, possibly two uh, marine units and I'm going to keep him on a ship uh, just in case during the battle if the air strike destroys one of my marine units I want to be able to grab that port for sure if not I could always run uh, since uh, Carnes is left open I hate leaving a port open so I'm going to move that up I'm going to take a look at what I have here so I've got the South Dakota Looks like Australia can't build anything at this point in time. I'd like to build an infantry division at some point in time. So I'm going to hold off here a bit. I'm just going to keep the upkeep going here. And uh, I'm going to try to build an infantry division for uh, um, Australia also. And I need to know when my planes are coming. So November 12th, December 24th, and January. So I need those planes. So I'm going to take this battleship and I'm going to move him to get ready for an invasion. So he's there. And I'll be able to set up for an invasion, not next turn, but maybe the turn after that. And once again, I've accomplished everything that I really want to accomplish. It looks like what's happening is um, the Japanese are moving some troops into this location to reinforce uh, Buma or Buna that will be another situation eventually I'm gonna have to perform some sort of blockade and try to capture uh, that port to move again one step closer to capturing Rabal. But again, I'm not worried about it right now. I'm going to do this one island at a time. I've got time here. I've got another year. Um, this marine unit will have to be replaced. Actually, I don't even need him there. I don't think I'm going to be too worried. So let's move to the next turn. Not much happening this turn. Like we have a fleet here. So let's see if we can identify it. This is another fleet here. These are specialties here, and, and what I like to do is I like to give my CV unit specialty. I like to do screening uh, so they get some extra added air defense. Okay, I need to find out what those ships are. That's probably the damaged cruiser. Let's perform an airstrike. Another airstrike, but this time I'm going to add a truck to it. Uh, 
two battleships. That's all I've got so far. Another airstrike. It's too bad because I got this guy to zero. I'm going to move him away and refuel. These patrol boats here. Oh, wow. Might be a little stronger than I anticipated here. One ship in the area, and he wiped out my patrol boats. I'm going to bring these guys to safety. Since these ships here. So what I'd like to do here is get these guys in a position to be able to invade this for next turn. So I'm going to be in raider mode right now so that they can't find me. I'm going to move forward with this. It's too bad because my next turn would have been to take this marine unit and uh, basically uh, try to uh, invade uh, the island there. And now it looks like I can actually move over here. So that's not a ship. So that's perfect. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so that's good. I'll be able to move from there. Again, something I didn't realize. Uh, my carrier force is pretty tough, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in three hexes here. One, two, three. Actually, I'm going to go south. And now I have some options here. Um, notice here I'm in um, fleet mode here to be able to do air attack. I think it's a little gamey if you keep it in raider mode and you zigzag around and have uh, the enemy attack you through interdiction because you have a strong uh, task force. I don't like that. I think that's a little bit gamey uh, personally and I think that might be a bit of a game exploit here. So I'm going to do a carrier strike here and uh, I hit something and It looks like two battleships, two cruisers, and a destroyer. And I would say that this now is three ships in the area. Wow. Okay, so I've put my carriers in danger here without even realizing it. I should have brought uh, these guys uh, a little bit closer. So I think I will uh, go into... Fl uh, oh, I won't be able to... Won't be able to. Oh well. Okay, let's see what I got. I've got another sub. Excellent. Of my subs. Australia supply trucks. Got a hundred, two ninety. Can I make an infantry unit? I can if I go all the way back to Perfect, I can make it. All the way to forty two. Perfect. I'm gonna do that. Uh, 63, 130 in the stockpile here. Again, I want a division there, so I need a little bit more. So Australia, I'm going to hold off on buying anything. Just want another infantry division. And let's move over to the next turn. So as you can see there, I ended up doing a lot of damage to their fleet uh, through my interdiction. I have a very powerful fleet right now, and uh, I sort of have control of that those that island uh, because I believe that I'm, I'm overpowering them. Um, so when I take a look at this, so here's my carrier interdiction here. Uh, you can see here I, I've, I've damaged, I don't even know what that is, uh, an NSLF.
I want to stay in the action, so I'm going to resupply my fleet here. This looks like a, a bit of an invasion force here. I'm going to take this island here, and I'm going to make sure he's in hold. They're in hold. They're in hold. Okay, so... It looks like some sort of invasion force is coming in here. They definitely have a uh, lot more ships in the area, so I'm going to start attacking here. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to move this guy because just in case this turns out to be an invasion force, I don't want him knocking my plane out of action here. I've got the port covered. I may have to uh, forego on the actual uh, invasion at this point in time. And my fleet is going to have to react or attack the fleet here. Okay, so let me see what I hit here. There's two more carriers, Hiru CV and Jando CV. Wow, I'm totally shocked on that one, folks. I went uh, guns a blaring and uh, uh, I'd say I got lucky considering uh, the Genio was sunk and the Hiru uh, is basically out of action. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to mop up with my sub here. I went to X is not good. Okay, I'm going to attack this guy. And I'm going to go after the carriers again. And as you can see, my carrier force is very, very strong. If I had to guess, so this here is actually a landing force six ships in the area with a destroyer. It looks like they're trying to invade back on the island. Okay, so if that's the case, time to bring in a few more ships and try to do a little bit of damage. Now it seems like I'm the one getting the damage though. Okay, I don't want to attack yet. I want to see. So that's six ships. That's two ships. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow. Does it tell me what it is? Yeah, battleships. So it looks like this is the troop transport here. So if that's the troop transport... Not sure what damage I did. No losses, even though I achieved surprise. So I still got a lot of fleets in the area. They're all in uh, fleet mode, so they're going to react to whatever the Japanese do in that situation. I'm going to have to clean this mess up before I end up going after New Georgia. I've got some interdiction here, port interdiction, so some supplies that I'm losing. Gave up the one port. And that's the blockade that that uh, ships are doing, but that's okay because I'm going to wipe them out pretty soon with my carrier force. Uh, it looks like I've got more battleships coming. Could this get any sweeter? And I'm getting my tactical bomber, which has to go all the way back here. And I'm getting basically another attack fleet which is awesome 
Okay, so I've got 217 here, and uh, again, I can make myself a marine division um, to help with some more invasions. And remember, for Australia, what I'm looking for is that infantry division. Uh, I can go back all the way to 1939 if I want to be able to get one pretty soon, but uh, I can hold off. I have enough troops right now to be able to sustain a, a, a good attack. Um, bringing the other surface fleet into the action. I think I'll do a pursuit combat of this particular troop transport. It looks like the carriers tried to get me, or somebody else tried to get me. They're, they didn't do anything. So let's move to the next turn. And everything disappeared. So you can see now my forces will react to their movement if they're hanging around or if they're attacking. My carrier force, I believe, is superior to theirs. So again, uh, an easy victory for the Allies in this situation. Uh, the Japanese Navy isn't uh, faring very well. Uh, it's still doing the blockade, so uh, I'm going to have to get rid of this ship here. Uh, let me just click on this. So these are the battleships. So. I'm going to do a little bit of attacking first. Notice the effectiveness is really low. I'm going to have to make this rest a little bit. You can see I'm, I'm losing more, so I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I'm going to keep this guy. He's low on supply, so I'm going to move him to an island where he can get some supply and some support. The blockade's on here. I could definitely leave here. I mean, it wouldn't have an impact. Um, okay, so I want to relieve the blockade. So I'm going to do a carrier strike. And I'm going to do a second carrier strike. I've got my fleets in action here. So here I've got two battleships, uh, a cruiser and a uh, destroyer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, move in and attack. And here I'm going to give the supplies. Now I want to see what's left here before I go in there because this is a battleship and a cruiser that says it's three ships in the area so that was a surface combat with the fleet so it looks like I just destroyed a destroyer and a battleship and it looks like that would be even strength on this particular attack so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up with this fleet and not do anything else. And I need to let this guy rest because he's at 20% and he needs uh, reinforcements also. It looks like uh, this force here, I'm going to have my subs attack. Okay, so now I can take a look and see. Uh, oh, it's a destroyer. And again, I'm going to attack. I could be five units away to attack. And no damage for each, but there's only a destroyer there, and this is a battleship and a cruiser. I've pushed them back, so I should be able to get supplies here, which is good. And you can see, as I mentioned before, it turns out that... Uh, my carrier force right now seems to be extremely strong. Um, I need to move in uh, a unit here and right now I'm a little nervous with that ship there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in. 
uh, not right away but I mean I could take the chance and try but this ship might counteract I don't think I want to take the chance play it safe go in next turn so I had to hold off on the invasion because again uh, a whole bunch of task force of the Japanese showed up um, I just had more of a field day with them uh, so I've gotten one two three four first line carriers now and two light carriers I haven't lost any carriers yet I've only lost two battleships which is good and I think right now uh, with my four carriers I'm sort of ruling that particular uh, um, area. I noticed that one of my carriers is damaged so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that back for repair uh, next turn but let's move forward here and see what's happening here. Okay so what I'd like to do is uh, increase this unit here uh, to, to add the unit what you need to do is hold the control key uh, so when you hold the control key you should be able to join the unit or is it the alt key? Oh, it's the alt key, okay. I want to go the other way though. Won't let me go the other way, which is too bad. Okay, so let's do it. So holding the alt key down, so you're selecting 3-6, hold the alt key down, you get the plus sign, then you right mouse click. So, and then I'm going to move this guy up here. So you can see this is a little bit stronger of a unit now uh, in Burma. And I'm going to move the headquarters there. Soon I'm going to start moving men uh, in locations. Uh, these guys here, I'm not going to move them yet. Uh, and the rationale behind it, straightforward and simple, is that I'm going to wait till my uh, strike force is available, which is my battleships. These are at 83 and 80, so I have to keep that in mind. So let's check our map. So again, uh, no supplies. That was because of the blockade. Again, again because of the blockade. It was a two for one shot there, low on supplies. I supplied that and okay, so let's move to the next turn. Just want to make sure that I don't want to buy anything or do I want to buy anything? I think I do. Really like those uh, um, PT boats. They're about 130, I'm gonna purchase one. Okay. And let's move to the next turn. I believe in the next turn I might be able to buy that infantry unit uh, from Australia or for Australia. The AI must be taking a look at that infantry unit now and go, what? Looks like I got some fleets low of supply. Uh, I also need to repair that carrier, so I'm going to bring him home. And I'm going to do the same here. It'll have to w the invasion force will have to wait. Delays, 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 delays. These are all getting supplies. Uh, Yep, reinforcements are going. Effectiveness is increasing. And I'm going to start moving this guy into an area to cause a little bit of trouble with Buna. So let's do a blockade of Buna. So the idea here is, and just to hit supply here, so they're getting supply from here, but they're also getting port supply, which is uh, 40 supply points. So if I block a that, or if I block that, then the idea behind it is I'm hoping I'm going to weaken these units to a point where I can push forward. That's the idea behind that. I like using my subs for that. Uh, I'm going to take my other sub and bring him back. You're going to ask me why I did that. Well. He's going to help with the blockade too, but I'm just keeping him on the side right now. I'm giving everybody a bit of a break. And let's take a look at what I can purchase here. Uh, again, I can purchase another uh, air unit. I was 
strategic strategic bomber would be awesome but more than likely uh, just shy of a ground attack okay let's get some oilers one two three to keep my shipping gun line landing ships let's get by two actually three I don't need any transports okay and I'm going to increase this and let's go here let's see if I can get that infantry division yes I can it's 1941 but I'll definitely buy it so when I take a look at this it will come in February 43 which is perfect This is one of the bigger units too that I can start splitting up afterwards uh, to be able to take the Marines uh, off their duties and give them a bit of a rest. Uh, that's a definite must. Uh, actually, I might do that uh, now. So I'm going to move this guy here. And I won't be able to do it this turn. There's not enough uh, space. So I'll have to wait till next turn to do it. So you can see not much is happening in this this uh, this third video. Uh, I'm sort of in a stall mode while I'm uh, regrouping and was surprised by that invasion force that came down to try to recapture Guadalcanal. So I guess I'm going to have to keep an eye for that. I was lucky to have my carrier units there. Okay, so... I'm going to move this guy back. Good. And I'm going to move forward. Hang in there, little buddy. Hang in there. supply oh, another ships there well 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 one ship one ship guess these guys are going to be around for a while so I need to actually move my carrier group up there um, I know the Hornet is injured so I'm gonna just bring three carrier groups up uh, three units away so I can do uh, pursuit combat. Their interdiction uh, uh, basically uh, allows me now. Oh, I was carrier pursuit. Uh, it's just a cruiser unit, which is fine. Got my tactical bomber here. Actually, I'm going to fly him here. Ah, oh, I did this wrong. Undo that. Okay, let's try to do this a different way. Okay, so I'm going to unpack them. Should have unpacked them before. Uh, what am I standing at? 52%, 56 with repair. Here I'm at 55, at 7, so I can do a little damage here. Ah, oh, did more damage to myself. And where are my battleships? Over here. So I'm going to move to the next phase where I'm starting to get ready for the invasion. I'm going to raider mode here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move out to about this hex right here to set up for an invasion of New Georgia. The reason why I went into Raider mode makes me a little bit harder to find uh, as I approach. Uh, I'll take off Raider mode when I'm ready for the next turn to be able to do something. Uh, I may have to branch out uh, a couple of these battleships um, to uh, 
uh, deal with the blockades that are there but mind you my carrier should be able to handle it also and possibly uh, this air unit will be able to do a little bit of damage also but right now they're uh, it's more of an annu uh, annoyance than anything else it's interesting that the AI blocks support that nobody's there okay no don't want to attack don't want to attack uh, he's okay just see this R R pull up here just pressing R to see my so that radius, that radius that comes around here is this unit, so it can cover that area. So I'm going to put them on ship duty. And Go in raider mode. Want to go to the port? Keep safe. I'm gonna move over uh, and actually take that air unit and place it in this location over here uh, to start and supporting any ground offensive that I decide to move forward uh, in uh, New Guinea. So you can see not much has happened in this particular video here. Um, this is where I'm going to cut out. Um, I still haven't captured the island that I want to capture. I just got sidetracked with all the ships that are going. I'm spending my time trying to uh, wipe them out when I should be concentrating on the island. So I have my invasion force ready to go here with two marine units just in case one of the marine units gets destroyed. I want to take this particular port here. So that's Sigi Airfield. Uh, with the port of one and then I want uh, that'll free up my other uh, fleet to attack uh, surface uh, attack these uh, smaller Japanese fleets there so I'm gonna call it quits now and thanks everybody for watching stay safe